Uh oh. I got canceled for this by Nicholas Light TV. Uh oh, there's some drama going on, and you got better, goddamn better new. I'm gonna farm the drama. Let's see what he got canceled for. Did you know that I was homophobic? Well, that's the video, guys. Nicholas Light is homophobic. <laughs> Wait, 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 that's, that's one way of starting the video. I don't think he is, but let him cook, let him cook. I didn't know that. Twitter told me that. So right now uh, I'm getting uh, getting attacked on Twitter, my favorite place, everybody's favorite place. And I'm excited, man. I've been waiting to get in some controversy. I've been, I, I've been waiting for some... <laughs> And I've been waiting for you to get into controversy so I can react to it and farm more drama, bro. I've been busting my ass. Straight up. Recently, I have been busting my ass, setting my own channel on fire, trying to fucking fabricate drama to make these kind of fucking videos. You know, I got death threats from Mushoku Tensei fans. I got three copyright strikes, but finally, someone else is stepping up to the plate drama i feel like kendrick lamar right now at least i'm not drake but i'd like to compare these people to drake i may i'm not i haven't been following the rap drama but right now i hear that drake is a little bit of a diddler maybe more than a little bit of a diddler it's not looking too good for him all right the tweet says bro dot dot i don't know why but i just saw some post about the whole bakugo deku shipping shit and i kind of get <laughs> dot 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 I kind of get some of the image in fandom hate now. This shit weird. Thank God I stay away from these fandoms and I just enjoy the shows. So he's just expressing his opinion about My Hero Academia, a show that I haven't watched, but Bakugo and Deku, I think they are like the main two characters, right? Is this like Naruto and Sasuke kind of thing? It's like the two main characters, right? And I guess the fandom, they are shipping these two uh, preteen boys in an anime, fictional ship. And... If Nicholas Light says this and he thinks that it's weird, what's wrong about that? I mean, if you guys want to have your fanfics and ship random characters, like, go for it. But it's like, I'm going to think that you're weird too. And you're probably going to think that I'm weird because I don't think the way you do. And that's the beauty of, you know, just like free speech. You can say whatever you want. I can say whatever you want. But then if people call you out on your weird takes, then maybe it is kind of weird. Hey, this tweet, 9, 12 a.m. this morning. Bro. I don't know why, but I just saw some posts about the whole Bakugo Deku Deku Bakugo Deku <laughs> shipping shit, and I kind of get some of the MHA fandom hate now. This shit is weird. Thank KBs. God I stay away from fandoms and I just enjoy the shows. All right. So you know what posts I saw? I saw posts of Bakugo and Deku digging yeah. each other down, squirting all over the place, kissing each other. I saw some pictures of Ochako and Endeavor making out. I don't know who Ochako or Endeavor is, but like the boys are just like getting it on. So this is like fan art. It's like boys love Yaoi fan art. So Nicholas like saw some Fujo bait. He saw some Yaoi shit and then he posted that shit. Okay. Literally a child and a grown ass. A high school girl and a middle aged man. Ochako is a high school girl. Endeavor middle aged man. Oh. Oh. Yo, I saw oh. some pictures of All Might and Deku making out. This shit. Is all, all Might is like the Hokage of this show, right? He's like the big Superman, right? And Deku is like the Naruto, right? So like, what in the fuck is happening with the MHA fucking art? It's weird to me. I stumbled or I, I fell into the abyss, the hole that I'd like to call the yeah. MHA Twitter stan shipping fandom. The weirdo. And like, these are just delusional kids, right? Like... It's just like mentally ill kids, and if you want to ship these kids together, these fictional characters, like, by all means, go for it. I don't give a fuck. Like, you do you. I'm going to stay in my own zone, but I have heard time after time how My Hero Academia fandom is just so fucking just sick in the head to the point where they're sending, like, death threats to the author himself, the manga, of the way that certain characters are treated. I don't know. I, I Sometimes... I feel like um, it's not a specific fandom's fault, but more of law of big numbers where something popular. Let's say League of Legends, right? League of Legends is toxic as fuck. And maybe something about League of Legends does, you know, in, uh, cultivate that kind of environment. But at the end of the day, when something gets so popular, more deranged freaks are inevitably just going to be joining on because of law of big numbers. Then it's just going to be even worse. Now, My Hero Academia, maybe it's the same thing, but I definitely have heard, you know... 
uh, random drama, you know, random post here and there throughout the last, you know, decade or so. I don't even know how how long MHA has been out, but I haven't heard too many good things. Oh, they did not like that. No, 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 no. They did not. Let's see some quote tweets. Let's Local see Local man finds out about gay people and gay ships. Mo <laughs> Killing Afo with hammers. Ball creature at Helga Grin. So these are obviously the... Like... Nicholas Light is not saying gay people bad. He's saying, I'm seeing art of underage anime boys getting dicked down and I feel uncomfortable. This shit's weird. But then Twitter is obviously going to use that and spin it in a narrative to say, this guy is homophobic. This guy just discovered who gay people are. Cancel him. Oh, gay people and gay ships. More at 11. Being proudly homophobic in 2024. But what about that post was like homophobic? Did he specifically say, ew, that's so gross that little boys are... Well, honestly, the art depicts like underage boys just going at it. I feel kind of weird too, right? I don't know. I, I, I just feel like... In my Hero Academia fandom, especially on Twitter, people are so fueled by outrage and the impressions. They might not even believe in the takes that they're saying, but by tweeting some unhinged shit, it obviously drives traffic, farms the impressions, gets random internet points, gives them a dopamine hit, makes them feel nice. Yikes. Is MHA your first baby fandom? No wonder your K-pop reaction life fell off. Oh yeah, well, Ooh. my K-pop life fell off. That's personal, right? Because, like, he used to do K-pop reactions before doing anime reactions. So this is an actual, like, long-time hater. Mr. Obi Akitaru. I'll height them and Kiana Stan. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll height them. Genshin Impact. Oh, we got all the fucking freaks. Listen, I love Genshin Impact. I also play it. But whenever I see Twitter handles and it's like something mains, you know, this lover, this shipper, this enjoyer, I immediately think like, oh, here we go. You are like K-pop stands, furries, uh, gotcha degenerates, the holy fucking trinity. Like it's a fucking infinity gauntlet in fucking, you know, Thanos. You're just collecting a piece of each deranged fucking, you know, group. The most mentally ill freaks online. Life fell off. Oh yeah, well, my K-pop life fell off. But then I became an anime channel and now I'm living the life of my dreams. So fuck you and fuck K-pop. Got some... <laughs> oh, fuck K-pop? Oh. <laughs> Yo, if someone actually saw this video... They're gonna clip that out of context and say, get the K-pop stands, yo! Where's the BTS army? Cancel Nicholas Light! Funny replies under my tweet, you know, uh, Bakugo acting like a little furry and, uh, 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 Deku petting on him, you know, beautiful, beautiful little children love right here, I love it. I mean, it's, a. Uh... I mean, the art depicts Bakugo and Deku, I presume. And I think Baku goes to blonde one with the cat ears. And Deku is putting a, a collar on the cat. And they're smiling, right? It seems like innocent art. But obviously, there is uh, some implication through the collar and the cat ear and the blushing. Some kind of uh, romantic dynamic, some kind of perhaps even bondage kings being at this play. Now, I might be leading a little bit too deep into it. But like, you know what you're doing. Like, you know what you're doing. I know we're not supposed to do quirky eugenics. <laughs> You really haven't seen the worst of it, huh? This is the uh, this is the middle aged man. He's forty five. <laughs> How old is the girl? It doesn't matter. They're all in high school, right? Okay. Uh, this is... <laughs> I know we're not supposed to do quirk eugenics, but imagine Urabidi and Endeavor Kids quirks. This goes beyond just like. Grooming because bro starts off by saying I know we're not supposed to do eugenics Like oh, oh, I, I know we shouldn't you know selectively breed people like bro This is some fucking Nazi ideology, but imagine you have any X and there is kids quirks I feel like Otaku and NG who the fuck is NG? Is that fucking OG son Endeavor? Could make some seriously esoteric gravity heat control sort of thing, which would be really overpowered There is no shot that you are seriously posting this with this picture of a 45 year old man carrying a high school girl and having a fucking beach picture too and focusing on the gravity and heat control this is not the fucking focus of the argument 
No. You guys, you don't give a fuck about the overpowered gravity heat control. No shot. This is just an extra thing to say to justify a 45-year-old man with fucking high school girls on a beach picture. Thanks, but imagine your gravity endeavors kids. That's corpse. crazy. I feel like a Chaco and NG could make some seriously esoteric gravity heat controls. That's crazy, bro. Oh, no. Endeavor has a child the same age as that girl, by the way. <laughs> so if Endeavor's kid, if, if Endeavor, if NG has a kid with Ochako, how, what, what does that make Endeavor's son? It, it, it's, it's, it's a new sister, it's a new kid sister, yeah, basically. But Ochako then becomes the Endeavor's son's stepmom? Huh? Oh no. Where are we going with this? So this is when I'm getting canceled over talking yeah. about shit like this. I'm sorry, but if you want to cancel me, oh I cannot believe you don't support a 45 year old man shipping with the high school girl through Quirk Eugenics Nicholas Light. Cancelled. Cancelled saying something about this. You can oh, eat man. my ass. So now I want to show you basically where it all started right okay this person replied to me saying just the thought oh, wait your boy rock lee is also getting involved in this bro man i feel like i should start tweeting if all the fucking boys are just you know starting drama and controversies there maybe i should start fucking tweeting some onion shit too but but maybe since you're a popular youtuber with a large following maybe mm. you should have passed harsh judgments just because you yourself don't prefer it you have no because you're a popular YouTuber with that large following, because you have a huge platform, you should not condemn a middle-aged man getting out the high school girl and yaoi ships between Deku and Bakugo. I, I, listen, if, if you're all for Deku and Bakugo, like, go for it. There's actually no harm in, you know, fantasy shipping, you know, two boys like that. Now, if you're like a grown-ass man, a grown-ass girl, that's not the same age as Bakugo and Deku. That shit's pretty weird, right? That that that's got that's kind of weird. Well, it depends on how deep you're into the shipping. But if you're like a similar age and you're like, yeah, I could totally see that. Like, go ahead, go ahead. But like, I don't know. I feel like this is an insane take. Harsh judgment just because you yourself don't prefer it. You have no idea if you've insulted people in your audience. That makes it possible for you to do the plus. That make it possible for you to do the plus? What the fuck does that mean? No, I Basically, he might be insulting the people that is helping him get views on content creation. Is that your fucking argument? Dear, if you've just insulted people in your audience that make it possible for you to do the reactions you prefer. Oh, here and it is. It's really unbecoming to see someone who profits off people's art be so callous and cruel to small time artists. Do Okay, first of all, Nicholas Light calling out these small-time artists that's drawing this this ridiculous fanfic is not gonna make that small artist do worse because the people that believe in Nicholas Light's takes would never have even to begin supporting that artist. And if anything, him putting a magnifying glass onto that small artist would then attract other people that have the same mindset and may want to support that small artist. I feel like him using his platform to call someone out like if like he's just saying his opinion and then at the end of the day like this is insulting people's intellect right you're basically saying the average person has no idea how to form their own opinions and if you say something bad about them they're gonna fucking be done but it's like no i think people are smart enough to figure out what's going on if you say some shit like doesn't highlight something then both sides of the fucking spectrum are gonna show up. The people that agree with Nicholas Sides thinking this is weird, that was never gonna support them, would not even inter engage with it. But the other side that may, you know, actually be into the art, then they would engage with it. Like, like this is a fucking bullshit statement. Do better. You have a platform to spread kindness and empathy. You're wasting it with remarks like this. I How dare he condemn a middle-aged man and a high school girl? on a beach together also have a platform to say fuck off this person by the way um is shipping deku and uh bakugo let's see their profile real quick 29 uh -oh. years old she her that's all i have to see shout out think about it like this imagine a 20 year old dude that ships like two lollies like think about like um high school girls the yuri ship and like a 29 year old dude being so vocal about it
Think about that for a second. Obviously, gender, like, double standards exist, right? But, like, you as a grown-ass woman, nearly 30, you're actively vouching for little boys getting on with each other. I don't know. I, I feel like there's a little bit of some predatory feel, some vibes that I'm getting from this man. I have to see. Shout out to your boy, Rock Lee, by the way. This is what he says. It oh, what do you say? It would be a betrayal to everyone who followed him to this point to stop being himself. He has a large following of people who want to hear his thoughts. I don't always agree, but at least he's genuine, and I know the person. I'm Rock Lee, true, true, casual dub Rock Lee. He has no responsibility to cater towards other people's fucking niche, you know, ideologies and trying to like be nice to people. It's his fucking platform. He can say what he wants and people kind of listen to him and enjoy it or can fuck off, right? If he didn't have good takes, if he didn't have engaging or entertaining content, why the fuck would people even bother supporting him? They support him because he's willing to say shit like this. Imagine a larger people follow for you, then you get big and deny them the very reason they are here. True. True. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. True, brother. I'm not here to be anyone else but myself. I will forever speak my mind, my opinion. I'm a very Based. opinionated person. I've always been. When I was doing K-pop reactions and pop reactions, I wasn't allowed to be myself. Because if I was myself, I wouldn't have a career. And honestly, I wanted a career. I wanted money. So I toned myself down. I was very simple. I was very... Toned myself down is crazy because if you've seen his reactions and like this is a toned down version of what he used to be. Imagine how crazy the K-pop reactions went, man. I was never there for Nicholas Light's K-pop reactions, but like, bro, imagine a cranked up Nicholas Light doing K-pop reactions. Like imagine the things that you see in the anime reactions dialed up 10x. Very not myself. I wasn't me. And that's what that audience liked. The second I was me is the second they all fucking left. Now that and you know what? Good. Good. Because it's fucking exhausting trying to put on a mask and act the character that you're really not. The best thing you can do for yourself is to be yourself. And at the end of the day, people can tell if you're lying or not. And the more honest and genuine you are, the more simple things become. You don't have to keep track of all the fucking lies and then you'll eventually start contradicting yourself because you were not playing yourself. You were playing a character. But at some point, things get very lost. You've gotten so many different things going on and you forget to real. You even forget like who you really are. I think that at the end of the day, you have to be just be, be yourself. Now that I do anime, I'm able to be myself. I'm able to speak my opinion. And I found a huge audience that actually respects and loves me for that. A lot of people leave. A lot of people join. So the people Nothing that wrong with leave, that. Go and find somebody else. I'm not going to subscribe or follow somebody that I don't like as a person. You know True. what I mean? But to the people that stay, that's who I'm here for. They know how I am. They know who I am. I'm not here to change. I'm not here to say what you want me to say. I'm not here to be your puppet. I'm not afraid to speak my mind. Controversial subjects that a lot of YouTubers or personalities are afraid to touch on because it will alienate, alienate their audience. I don't... Listen, listen, just give me more videos like this and I'll fucking react to every one of them. Let's fucking go. I need more controversy. I don't care. I simply don't care. And if you want to cancel me, whatever. <laughs> I've been canceled like three, four times. And then you make a video saying, I got canceled. Easy fucking views. Easy fucking money. Nice. And I'm still here. I'm still almost about to hit a million subscribers. He they is getting close. Over 100k views per day. People watch me for me. Do they watch you? No, they don't Damn. give a fuck about you. This isn't about Damn. homophobic, right? I'm not homophobic. Don't use those buzzwords on me. Don't use those Twitter words on me, all right? Nowadays, everybody's homophobic. Everybody's racist. Everybody's sexist. Pretty much, right? You say something and people will just paint you with such a broad brush. Like you say something and it's like, no, you're racist. You're homophobic. You're a Nazi. You're alt-right. You're alt-left. People have gotten so extreme. They can only see things in binary, zeros and ones, black and white, good or bad. But there's nuances in between. But thing is, on Twitter, people's, people aren't there to have a genuine conversation. They're not. They're here to fucking farm the impressions and get these notifications to go off. Someone liked your tweet. Oh, this shit doing numbers. I got fucking 30 likes on my tweet. I got so many impressions. But at the end of the day, 
you don't even give a fuck about the things that you're tweeting about. You just want the negative engagement. If you shit talk somebody, if you say some deranged shit, you know that you're going to get engagement. And you're fucking lonely, you know, depressed, fucking husk of a life. You feel something, right? You start to fucking feel something. And that's why it's so addictive and so fucking predatory. Social media has rotted people's brains to the point where people have to feel like they have to like say this kind of shit to get some kind of attention, even if they don't even know what they're talking about, even if they have no idea the consequences of their words onto other people that are genuinely just doing being themselves. Everybody's transphobic, this phobic, this is, this, that, that, that. Everybody is something nowadays. And the second you use that wording is the second I stop taking you serious. And I tell you to go check into a fucking mental asylum. True. All I'm here to do is to make the content that I want to make, be myself, have fun, and hopefully make people smile. And I seem to be doing a great job at that because a lot of people watch my videos. A lot of people talk to me every single day saying that I make their day, that I make them smile, that I make them laugh. Isn't if that I make nice? you sad, if I offend you, just unsubscribe from me. Just block me, just unfollow me. It's simple as that. I'm not but here's the thing, right? And the craziest thing is, any reasonable person that like hates a specific content creator should just click don't recommend and move on with their lives. But there's these freaks that will like engage with you and are your biggest fans. They have the notifications on. They on every upload will be the first one there to dislike and send a hate comment, which further boosts the engagement signals, telling the algorithm that, hey, regular viewers are watching your you know, content and engaging. Great job. Isn't this so poetic? It's so poetic how these haters, these fucking freaks, they waste a finite time they have in their life hating somebody, intentionally making themselves upset hating somebody, which only helps that person grow even more. I think it's the perfect, like, hell, the perfect kind of punishment for those fucking losers. The fact that they dedicate their lives every day hating, getting mad, and then the other person just continues to grow more and more. I'm not going to follow somebody that I that I see like that. You know what I mean? It's as simple as that. But nowadays on Twitter, nowadays in this world, we have to constantly complain about shit. We have to constantly make everybody agree with what we agree with. We have to make everybody think that it's like a team, right? You're either on their side or you're on my side and there's nothing in between. It's so fucking extreme. The way that we think. It's like team we sports. We have to make everybody speak the way we want them to speak. We have to be these uh, ventriloquists. We, everybody has to be a fucking puppet. And I'm not going to be your puppet. I'm sorry. I'm always going to speak my mind. And if you have a problem with that, fuck you. Stand on your shit. You know what? That is so based. And a lot of people, when they do start doing content creation, they feel the need to like submit to the greater audience this popular opinion that should be held and are afraid to speak their mind because if they feel like they're going to be mean or they show their true colors that people will stop supporting them. I think that that is so wrong. Such a such a bad way to build your platform and brand because like that is like the foundation, right? You're conforming and submitting to opinions that you don't really agree on and trying to be the symbol that you don't really believe in. But because a lot of people seems to push that idea onto you, you start to become the harbinger on that symbol. But at the end of the day, that's not who you are. When the mask falls off, everyone fucking leaves because you were never being yourself. It's better to be like Nicholas Light. Yes, he says some controversial shit. Yes, he's not afraid to you know, speak his mind. But by doing that, people know that he's being genuine, his authentic self. And you don't have to be this like ethically good, perfect angel person. No, if you truly are that person, go ahead. But that's also not me. That's why I'm not afraid to just call you guys fucking monkeys whenever I feel like it. If you're being fucking stupid, if you're doing some dumb shit, I will just straight up call you a fucking monkey. And at the end of the day, that's it. It is what it is. It's my fucking channel, right? I don't give a fuck what you think about me. I'll straight up just block you, call you a monkey and say thank you for, you know, engaging with my content, making me grow even more, bro. Don't let these Twitter pussies try to guilt you with all this cancel culture nonsense shaking my head. Convince these people would have an aneurysm if they were ever in a COD lobby in the early 2000s. Exactly. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. Ming Hao based. Exactly, bro. If they hit a COD lobby back in the 2000s, forget about it. They wouldn't be here a minute later. They. Why is my mom getting fucked by all these people in my COD game? She's crying on the microphone, and those people in that COD lobby would annihilate them even more. I'm from a different generation. This generation is trying to lecture me. That's trying to point me in the direction that they want to point me in. That. I mean, what I know what he's saying, 
but that girl was 29, and I think Nicholas Slide is also like a similar age, if not younger, right? So you can't really say it's like a generational thing, like your own people doing it. But I know what he's trying to say, though. I, I know what he's trying to say. They're in that want me to think the way that they think. They don't know me. They they don't know that I don't fuck with that. That's not me. That will never be me. I've been waiting. I've been waiting to talk some shit like this, bro. This it is great. Good to let More loose. shit talk. But, Let's um, go. Yeah, man. Uh... So I'm going to continue doing what I want to do. I'm going to continue saying what I want to say. And if you have a problem with that, it doesn't matter. You know why? Because I'm here to stay and you can't do anything about that. I'm going to continue watching. That's going to make people so upset, right? The best way to get back at your haters is to just like keep thriving. Just keep growing. Keep succeeding at whatever endeavor you're doing. And those people that's hating, they're going to start, you know, they're just going to be in the same place where they were, right? The same fucking haters that's hating on me. Bro, they're not gonna change. They're gonna waste every fucking day engaging with my content and just giving me free engagement. And I'm gonna keep growing and growing and growing. In two to three years, I'm gonna be at a place where they can't even fucking fathom. And it's gonna be so good. That is the best revenge. Thriving is the best thing you can do against your haters. Anime. I'm gonna continue talking shit. I'm gonna continue making money, traveling the world, having the best life that I can Im live your that best I life. Never even imagine having. And you can't do anything about it. And I hope that pisses you off. Sayonara. Based. Sayonara. Guys, y'all know what to do. I'm sure many of you guys are already subbed to his channel because you fucking told me to, you know, react to Nicholas Light -like drama. He's almost at 1 million subs. He's almost Did at 1 million know? subs. Go like his video. Go sub to us to him. But it's so true. It's, it's so true how just so manic the people on Twitter are. Social media, the outrage. And again, I don't think people truly believe in what they say on Twitter. I think that people are just so mentally ill and think and only think of you're either on my side or you're against me. They don't care about having a genuine conversation and trying to understand the other person and trying to be empathetic and come to a resolution. No, you're either branded as a specific like a Nazi. You're a fucking homophobe. You're transphobe. You're this and that based off of one fucking in interaction, which doesn't even have the full context, right? Because the outrage just, you know, uh, directs the negative engagements. They get their fucking Twitter likes. They get their fucking online free points and they feel good about themselves. But at the end of the day, they're all just hollow, empty husks, ghouls that can never satisfy the void that they have in their heart. Because at the end of the day, happy, fulfilled people don't post shit like this. Only depressed, sad people do. And I would tell you to get mental therapy and get help, but you're not going to do that. So I hope you continue to fucking hate and we continue to get bigger. Nicholas Sykes videos are amazing. Whenever he does these, you know, uh, drama videos or updates, it's always fun to check it out, right? I'm, I'm glad that you guys told me about this and we got to farm this. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one.